So welcome to day five, our last day. We will talk about our regenerative power recovery unit, our AX8820. So AX8820 works to bring back the regenerative power that is produced in an application that is either dumped back into a regen resistor, which wastes the power. And what the AX8820 does is it recoups that power and puts it back into the mains of the system, reducing the overall cost for your motion control application. This AX8820 works by bringing the mains power into it. You can communicate to it with EtherCAT in which you can monitor your regenerative power you can monitor the mains voltage, but you also can see any um, faults conditions or any warnings in the, in the power management for it. It can also be standalone in which you can just put this in a system that you have today. And with that, you have localized diagnostics for the same benefits, but they're built into the device and you can still see what the status of the regenerative power recovery is. And with that, we have two tools in which we can use. One is our motion designer software, which we covered in day two, where I showed you where the regenerative power is analyzed. That shows you kind of how much regenerative power is gonna be expected in the application. And then there's actually on the machine. This is where we bring in our TwinCat analytics package in which you can monitor real time, analyze the power usage in the application and really see what your ROI is in putting this device in your application. Because sometimes a short, uh, high dynamic application doesn't have that much regenerative energy, but sometimes in those applications, you need some of the mains filters or mains chokes to help with the overall performance of the application. And this AX8820 will have these products integrated into it. That concludes our motion week. As you can see, we have a lot of motion control solutions for your applications. Not only uh, high dynamic, very powerful drives, but also low cost solutions for your applications. And feel free to contact us with any of your questions. And again, thank you for your time.